Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I was contacted by email the other day by somebody asking me what is the difference between a mushroom pin and a spool pin. I thought, well, actually, that's a really good question. I don't think I've answered this one before, so I thought I'd do a whole video on it. So, just to be clear, these are all, um, well, driver pins, a standard driver pin and two security pins. And this type of pin is commonly called a spool pin. It looks like a cotton spool. And this type of pin, at least in this orientation, looks a bit like a mushroom with a stalk and the cap here. You can also see uh, a really awesome variant of a spool which I've got, which is at least twice the size of this one. But that's quite a rare sight. I just thought you might want to see it. So what's the difference between the spool pin and the mushroom pin when we're picking it? I think it's best really to go over to some small graphics to really help us out. So, what I'm going to do is going to show you a lock just like this. This is an oval cylinder. There we go. And I'm going to take away a little bit of that oval cylinder so that you can see the key pins and the driver pins. As you can see, this is a standard driver pin. If we were to lift up that pin by picking it, and we were going to turn the lock using a tension tool, you'll see that it just opens as per normal. Now let's have a look at a spool pin. It's under tension, and then we fall into what we call a false set. You'll see that the core turns, but it gets trapped, it gets hung up on the spool pin itself. How do you get out of that? Well, you lighten up the tension, lift the pin a little higher, and then you'll see what we call counter rotation. That is the rotation caused by the bottom lip of the spool clearing the shear line. Once it's cleared, the lock should open. Now let's have a look at a mushroom pin in its first orientation. By that, I mean that it's probably the most spool-like. The fatter stalk of the mushroom is at the top and the cap of the mushroom is at the bottom. Just like the spool pin, we see that we fall into what we call a false set, where the spooling, if you like, the thinning of the pin catches at the shear line. To pick it, you then, of course, just like a spool pin, lift up, you'll see counter rotation as the cap of that mushroom has to clear the shear line and then once it's clear the shear line you should be able to open it. Let's have a look at that in the second orientation. What we have here is we have I guess stalk side down. When we're picking this one it does go into a false set, maybe a shallower false set because if you think about it, it's catching at the thicker part of the spool, if you will. To pick it, we keep lifting. You'll see a small amount of counter rotation, but then it'll start to feel a bit like a standard pin as it slips past the bottom of the stalk. And then once it's clear the shear line, it should open again. I hope that that cleared some of the mystery up about what is a spool pin and a mushroom pin. The only thing I'd like to say really is that um, be careful because sometimes spool pins are called mushroom pins and that seems to be a manufacturer thing. Some manufacturers do call spool pins mushroom pins. I don't know whether it's an, an older term or not. I don't know. Also, you'll see some very, very cheap locks um, and they will say they have spool pins when actually, uh, mushroom pins, sorry, when they actually have spool pins in, or at least some horrible chewed, rolled version of a, a spool pin. So I think in summary, there is a small difference between a mushroom pin and a spool pin, depending on the orientation. The mushroom pin will act a little bit like a spool, uh, depending on which orientation it is. And I guess really, in my experience, there isn't much of a difference in feel um, or experience with mushroom pins versus spool pins. I suppose that mushroom pins 
uh, give a slightly different feel depending on its orientation. But other than that, they're quite similar pins in my experience. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Hope you now know a little bit more about the difference between mushroom pins and spool pins. And I will see you next time.